thank you for coming uh, to this uh, panel. Uh, as uh, moderator said, uh, well, my main uh, area of the interest is uh, video mapping, uh, which is uh, as well the topic of my uh, PhD dissertation. So today I will talk about one aspect of uh, video mapping uh, studies uh, about uh, dispositive and changing the perception of, uh, of this uh, audiovisual form. I would like to start my presentation with the quote from the For the Looking the Glass by Lewis Carroll. Well, in another moment, Alice was through the glass and had jumped lightly down into the looking glass room. The very first thing she did was to look whether there was a fire in the fireplace. And she was quite pleased to find that there was a real one blazing away as brightly as the one she had left behind. So I shall be as warm here as I was in the old room, thought Alice. Warmer, in effect, because there'd be no one to scold me away from the fire. Then she began looking about and noticed that what could be seen from the old room was quite common and uninteresting, but the, that all the rest of, was different as possible. <coughs> For instance, the pictures on the wall next to the fire uh, seemed to be all alive, and the very clock on the chimney piece, you know, you can only see the back of it in the looking glass, had got the face of a little old man and grinned at her. Looking glass as a metaphor of mirrored reflected mapping reality is one of the most popular motifs used today in many human sciences. Based on this motif, Lewis Carroll created his famous novel, The Story About Alice, titled Through the Looking Glass. Alice's conclusion as she crosses the mirror that is moves from reality to its reflection and image remind of general observation about illusion created by mimetic copying the reality. This concept have been developed and have evolved during the years in painting, photography, and finally, in a movie and uh, other audiovisual forms, derivates. The fireplace on the other side um, of the mirror attracts Alice even more even though it's the same as the one on, on the deserted side, it is in effect even warmer, as there will be no one to scold the girl away from it. Everything seemed to be alike and not very interesting, but some of the objects in the room, like the pictures above the fireplace or the clock, turn out to be given other magical life. It turns out that this imagined reality can be m even more enticing. This quote is to explain not as much modern receiver's attraction for the imagined elusive reality, but it rather points to the modifications in perception and changing needs in people's life, which emerge with the invention of the audiovisual forms. In the realization based on VR and AR technologies, the light from the source of the fire it's also more attractive than the one we naturally experience in our daily reality. It allows us to create illusions, simulations and visualization of non-existing things. Their immersion is so strong that spectators and participants of these audiovisual events, like Alice, come to the other side of the mirror and the reality they find, their amaze them with the possibility it offers. Video mapping, also known as 3D mapping uh, or projection mapping, belongs to family of illusion-based audiovisual forms, which today transform not only the dispositive of the perception of the motion pictures, but also the perception of, the of spectators. Computer-made 2D and 3D animations are ultimately projected after post-production process on the previously measured and studied, studied object which became the screen. As a result, they enable creation of new augmented reality within the re reality we are in, so they both form a hybrid. 
Using or even based on digital animation design in often times creates simulation of words that have no reference in the reality. According to psychoanalytical theories, watching in the crowd may transform, transform spectators' perception into quasi-hallucination everyone is under, under during the show. We can present video mapping as a continuation of expanded cinema, the form described in 1970 by Jean Youngblood, who referred to many examples of experimental cinematographic wars, works. Video mapping is crossing the borders, not only of the screen itself, as any object can be become a screen, from small objects to large-scale archite architecture of several square, uh, square meters, like in the case of video mapping on the parliament uh, in Bucharest uh, in Romania. It, its dimensions are limited only by available technology. Video mapping spectator is <coughs> freed from what Roland Barthes ca uh, Barth, uh, calls the black of the cinematographic cocoon, which surrounds him when he dives in images, sounds and film narratives uh, in, in specially adapted darkness plays, the cinema. Video mapping animation are also dependent on dark space. Therefore, they are usually presented previously adapted locations with limited light or in natural darkness after the sunset. The dark space of video mapping allows, like in cinema, focus on flickering projection, illusory, illusory visions which move hitherto stable and immobile objects. Spectators in a cinema become symbolically the lone receiver standing face to face with the screen. At the same time, in video mapping, even though we usually participate in the spectu spect spectacular show and of light and sound, together with the crowd, that this type of focus is impossible. First, it is due to the fact that video mapping shows are usually shorter presentation of motion pictures than the one we see in the cinema. We do not sit in comfortable seats, especially when we watching installation using mapping and architectural mapping. Thus, our moves are not limited and our focus is not reinforced with a petrific petrification of our body with seats, but we can move freely and even change the place, which in case of some installation is even necessary. We can expect more of the cinema immersion in case of stage mapping projects, which introduce elements of video mapping into theater and dance shows. These uh, projections serve alternative to scenography and enable even more illusory modification of the space and effect that, that we previously impossible in the theater. Actors and dancers enter into interaction, interactions with unreal imaginary reality expanding the possibilities of the theater stage. And an excellent example of the of it is the Laterna Magica team, Mag Magica, I'm sorry, uh, from National Theatre in Prague. In their repertoire, the team presents many multimedia shows, which combine not only standard projection, but also video mapping with actors and dancers. Movements on a stage creating and designing immersive spectacles. One of them is Cube. And I will show you right now a short trailer from this show, from this play. Um,
Ah, no. We have to. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Okay. So, video mapping designed for the show was based on a purposefully built form. A stage inside the stage, the cube on the base of which actor dance. The stories they present are incredible combinations of the beauty of moving bodies and their interactions with the space. Uh, in this case, technologically designed and dynamically changed. Sitting in the theater seats and undisturbed, the spectator can totally lose themselves in rapidly ch changing visions. This way, technology frees theater from its frontality and traditional fixed perspective of the audience, which change thanks to illusion and take the spectator more towards cinematographic realization. The term dispositive was borrowed uh, quite unfortunately from Michel Foucault, who used it to describe various social practices codified as regulations and codes and more conventional in the form of space organization and norms, norms of conduct, which manifest social relation of power and knowledge. During the analysis of his writing, the French philosopher Gilles Deleuze assigned another meaning to the term of dispositive. He noticed that visibilities are only the ways we see objects and the result of our sense, but are created epistemological formation that form dispositive of light. Thus, spectators themselves are not that important part of these visibilities, but also machines which create them and enable their existence and functioning. Such vision machine was the cinema with its various optical apparatus. So in the context of research into film and media, <coughs> this positive in order of reception that includes and investigates an audiovisual work in different media contexts. This context consists of a spectator, space and medium. Video mapping will use slightly different apparatuses machines and in consequence dispositive than cinema. It adopts many forms of projection set in various contexts. First of all, it is based on freeing from the flat rectangular screen that has narrow and limited the special possibilities of film. Instead, any three-dimensional object can become a screen. Like in modern cinema, which doesn't need an analog film stock anymore, images projected with a digital projector which uses computi uh, computing and mathematic operation to transform the binary code into visual image. Its parameters, mainly lumens, uh, which determines the amount of possible light, will change depending on the circumstances of the projection. In case of internal small installation in well-obscured room, the required parameters will not be high, about 2,000 lumens, compared to more than 26,000 lumens from multiple devices in case of 3D mapping on buildings front in the night. Of course, to get a sharp, immersive image, other parameters uh, are also important, like in cinema, resolution, aspect ratio, or sometimes weight and size of projector. Because video mapping is usually more than effective presentation of the visual layer and includes the sound, so they both support the illusion of reality. Properly designed sounds are important. They include both non-diegetic musical composition, which set the proper character of the stage, and diegetic sound, which directly referred to created vision. For instance, sound of explosion, scattered buildings, burning roofs. Properly synchronized with the image and played on the properly set sound system, the sound and image allowed the spectator to fully immerse in the present vision. The medium that is created as a result of designing and projection the video mapping on the existing object known by spectator 
in the case of architecture, or newly designed installation, also reaches beyond the traditional understanding of a screen. In the case of film projection in a cinema, the screen paradoxically disappears in the light of the projection, but the screen object will be always visible. Its 3D real and virtual nature will be emphasized during the projection. The perception space and context also change. The work can be viewed in, sep in a separate, dark space or in a public environment known from other perspective with its natural implications, meanings and accompanying natural sounds, like in the case of city architecture. In the context of research into video mapping dispositive, spectator and the way they see and experience the audiovisual situation are very important. Spectator will always be suspended in hybrid reality, which combines the real, existing 3D objects, mapped installation, architecture, or other elements of the natural public space with computer design elements in the form of 2D or 3D animations, which are projected on the real objects. Jean-Louis Boudry, the French writer and essayist, noticed connection be between cinematographic projection and a dream, and pointed out that cinematographic projection are even reminiscences of dreams. Referring to the concept of Plato's cave, he created one of the most representative uh, metaphors used in the psychoanalytical theory of cinema. Baudry, however, removed the aspects of reflecting the idealistic philosophical assumption which says that material things are only reflections of ideas. He used the cave metaphor to support his own assumptions which he integrated into the psychoanalytical theory of film saying that exterior circumstances influence the state of our minds. According to Baudry, Prisoners in the cave, like spectators in the cinema, cinema, see only the illusion of reality, shadows of the ghost world. Video mapping spectators are suspended between. On the other one hand, one hand, usually unrestricted movements and even ability to walk around the selected space where the mapped screen object is located, prevents from total engagement in the perception of the motion picture and the object. On the other hand, they evoke the impression of reality as spectators' mind do not have to take them to imagined place. They are already there or even have been there before projection began. The impression of reality is also integrated with cognitive abilities, mainly human imagination. Technical images presented in video mapping allow people to overcome limitations imposed by their imagination <laughs> and resort to unrestricted fantasy. It is fulfillment of, of human desires to have power over the scene, reality and co-create and modify it against the physical laws. During the perception of video mapping, large format projection or smaller in installation, spectator's gaze undergoes spatialization. Video mapping offers slightly different spatialization than 3D technology with glasses or VR uh, with special goggles. From the very beginning, before the projection starts, the images <coughs> are avail avail available as a natural, physical, 3D object installation, scenography, uh, architecture. However, in the video mapping process, spatialization takes place again on the selected mapped object whose elements begin to change during the projection, transform and become part of additional narrative that shake its stable stru structures. Both the projection, projector light and the spectators again shape the watched object with their sight as they immerse themselves in the imagined reality. 
The example of the perception of video mapping in case of large format projections on public buildings, maybe the video mapping uh, inaugurated in 2014 in Capeche, Mexico. The projection was released on the 80 meter uh, front of the library lo located in the city center. Video mapping projected on the biaxial arcade front of the building is a story with moving images presenting the history of Mexico, stra starting from the Maya cosmology, other beliefs, uh, colonization, to modern times with traditional beliefs like uh, Santa Muerte cult and religions brought by the colonizer, Christianity. I will show right now a short part of fragment from it because it's the all is uh, about half an hour <laughs> different uh, parts of it, but this is about Santa Muerte, of course, of course. So, perception of this light and sound show turns diametrically when architecture becomes the screen. First of all, spectators are in the familiar public space, and even if they don't, do not use this often, they associate with globally formalized rules of urbanistic division. They perceive this familiar architecture, now lightened and modified by video mapping, in two ways. <coughs> From the perspective of, of their previous experience and uh, in its new form which transforms its spatial division and allows to introduce new narratives into it, to reinterpret it, the, its facades and sometimes modify, modify its character and real history of the light. And finally, freeze mapped architecture from their structures, fulfill our hunger for illusion. Thanks to architectural video mapping, not only the mapped object is reinterpreted, but also the space that surrounds it. Its luminization or lightening on showing its hidden elements may even remind of the atavistic magical actions to overcome the fear of darkness, fascination by the saving and good light that removes the myst mystery which covers the surrounding space in the night. Another example of engaging uh, the spectator's perception are interactive video mappings, the course of which depends on the action of the audience. One of the interesting examples, unfortunately still in a prototype <coughs> phase, it's Room, room Alive, uh, designed by Microsoft Research in 2014. Room Alive is a game based on the video mapping technology, which used the whole room and its elements to create visualization of the augmented reality. Using auto calibration, it dynamically uses gamer's room and its object to place the game characters in it. Gamers fight with them kinetically uh, shooting in their direction, jumping, stomping and or hitting. And uh, now I will show part of it. Room Alive is a proof-of-concept prototype that transforms any room into an immersive, augmented, magical gaming experience. 
Moonlight uses projectors and depth cameras to cover an entire room, including the people and the furniture inside, with pixels that can be used for both input and output. With Room Alive, users can touch, shoot, and dodge augmented content that seamlessly coexists with their existing physical environment. Our system consists of multiple projector camera units, or ProCams for short. Each unit contains a depth camera, a commodity-wide field of view projector, and its own computational that's unit. These ProCam units can... Maybe that's enough. I'm, I'm not going to like explain technology of it right now. The, in this uh, type of video mapping, uh, spectators engage not only their sight and hearing. The immersive effect is strengthful, uh, strengthened uh, as the whole body of the participant is involved, is inside <coughs> the video mapping, so it's not only psychical engagement in the scene images, but also physical. To summarize, as we can base the in the mentioned examples, video mapping may take on a different forms and uh, be set in a different context. And this form of augmented reality that frees the spectators from the screen of smartphone or tablets has a significant influence on the change of the general dispositive of mapping projection and the perception of the audience. Spectator will surely differ the ways they perceive the above, above mentioned examples and these differences will be based on their perceptive and implication abilities, quality of the experience and previous experience with similar project. Each spectator will read technocolor chart images at the, in a different way. It is impossible to mention all of them in a such a short presentation However, I hope it um, inspires further discussion and text studying the change in this area of experience and perception of undoubtedly attractive thanks to its effects and form video mapping. Thank you for your attention.